Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens and Lulu's sniffing about what I'm going to be talking about soon. Oh, never mind. She's going to play with her buffalo horn. So I'm going to be talking about my moringas once again, but something that's interesting and caught my eye, it caught my eye actually pretty early on, but I decided now is the time to talk about it because I'm just astonished at the comparison. So like I said in the past, four moringas were here. Uh, this one was really weak and it died off. This one died back, but the root ball didn't die. I transplanted it this direction on the side of the house. I'll be talking about that in a moment. And this one's about a year old. And this one's over two years old. And you'll see with the base of this older Moringa, a lot of new growth. Not the best color, to be honest. I don't know why it's doing this bright orange hue, but still, it's alive. That's all that matters. And when we go up, you'll see the new growth. So it's going to have about a three and a half foot to almost four feet advantage of growth. Every year I've had this, it always had to grow from the bottom. Now it can grow up here. So if I have the same growth rate as last year, this should be almost a 20 foot tall tree, maybe 17 feet tall. So Lulu's showing us the way. She started smelling the first Moringa, and now she's taking me to the second Moringa. It's pretty cool. Maybe she knows. Do you know, Lulu? So if you remember, I was saying that I transplanted the root ball of one of the Moringas over here that was still alive. It was a huge root ball. I don't remember the weight. I, I think I did weigh it, but I don't remember. But it was in the pounds. It wasn't a small root ball. And the roots were huge. They went all the way maybe three feet long when I dug it in. But here it is right here. And look at the growth. Look at the size of the leaves already. So how does this Moringa that I completely dug out grow like this compared to a Moringa that has been in the ground longer than this one and stayed in the ground and didn't get transplanted. That's really amazing. The one thing I can think of though is I used to raise quail long ago actually when I was a kid. I used to raise Bob White quail, hundreds of them. And I used to raise quail here with my son. I had Coturnix quails and they were here so maybe the manure from them is the reason why from those almost over a year that they were here maybe the manure from them is the reason why this moringa is so beautiful and lush compared to the other one isn't that amazing just something that i thought might be interesting something that got transplanted but yet looks like it's doing better than something that was in the ground for almost two and a half years. All right, everyone. Happy gardening. Okay, like, share, subscribe. And thanks for watching, everyone.